Hi everyone, welcome to Chorus House. Today we've got an unboxing for you. It's the Castelli Free Aero Race 4 Kit Bib Short Limited Edition. Hi, welcome back. Let's get going. Let's rip open this pack and take out. This is the Costelli Free Aero Race 4 Kit Bib Short Limited Edition and I actually got them in grey. I've never had a pair of grey bibs before so I thought we shall purchase some and see what they look like. So as usual we get this funky uh, packaging which you have to open on the back he says. Not, it's not the back. I'm sure it was the back last time. I'm probably wrong and now I look like an idiot. But Let's carry on. So, I do like the Aero Race stuff in, um, uh, from Castelli. It's always good. Wow, these are very interesting. Never had a pair of grey bibs before. Very interesting straight off the bat is the leg gripper. Um, we'll come to it in a minute. And also, it's almost like sheer... It's kind of like ladies' lingerie um, material. Is the only way I can describe it? Uh, very interesting. The straps are made of that. Very interesting. Don't know what that red blob is. We'll come to that. So we'll start at the bottom and work our way up then. So we've got the legs and they've got these bubbles on. These... Um, they're raised. You can feel when you run your finger over them. These are actually raised. Very strange. First time I've seen that. Ah, and then we, and then we see why when we turn it on the inside. So instead of the bands of gripper, which they would usually have, they've actually got these blobs of gripper. Um, that's what causes the dimples on the outside. That's why it felt so weird. So they've got blobs of gripper on the inside. I'm going to turn these inside out just so I can get a better look at them. Okay, so blobs of gripper on the inside and um, the normal dimpled side panels for the kit um, version of these. I'm not sure why they're limited edition but um, no doubt someone will tell me in the comments, I don't know. So yeah, the normal dimple stuff, but we've got this different chamois and uh, it's very strange. It's the first one I've had like this. This is very weird. Perhaps this is why it's a limited edition. It's got a new uh, seat. It's almost like it's got holes in it. So each one of these dark bits is like a dimple, like a golf ball. Um, the pad feels much more denser to the touch than um, previous Castelli pads I've had. Much, much more denser. It is a viscous comfort zone. Yeah, these are very um, different to what I normally would see. The dimpling is actually in the top cover, putting my finger underneath. The dimpling is in the is in the top material here. The, the seat pad is flat underneath, so um, that's quite curious. Okay, it's very interesting. So we'll make our way around as normal. We've got the Castelli Mega Instructions. 30 degree wash, don't. Use softener, bleach, or tumble dry it. Only line dry it in the shade. Do not iron, do not dry clean. Do not do anything that will damage it. And um, we've also got the uh, pocket for, um, it must be their radio. Oh, sorry, I'm not even on the camera. We've got the pocket for the, uh, it must be their radio communications. I don't know, it's not big enough to put a phone in. Not my phone, anyway. No, it's not big enough 
to put a lot much in there really this is the back coming up onto this red bit Castelli made in Bosnia Herzegovina a lot of stuff coming out of Bosnia now I don't know if they've changed their manufacturing base or anything but that's it didn't used to be there um, and then we've got the sheer not sheer but weird material which I've never seen on bibs Castelli bibs before this isn't grippy material, but it's just like a stripey material built in. And that goes all the way around the bib strap and attaches to the front of the short. It's very strange. Um, look on the leg, the side of the leg. So we've got Castelli kind of in a shady type of font around the leg, around the leg and gripper there. We've got coming up the back, we've got this panel and that's it. There's no um, Castelli marks. There is on the back of the legs. Backs of the legs there, Castelli mark. No, um, what am I trying to say? No reflective uh, strip anywhere at the moment. Just those Castelli bits. That pad is robust. Wow. I can't get over it. Um, yeah, not really anything, any other distinguishing marks. Um, lots of different layers of material. You can see one in the middle, one each side. Lots of panelling on these, I have to say. So I've got 192. Okay, so I'm just looking at the Castelli um, spiel about this pad. And it says here, after 12 years of evolution and millions of miles of road testing, Castelli have pushed the boundaries of cycling comfort and performance. The first contact point against the skin is the super soft upper skin care material. Uh, this thing, I'm taking it. It's now seamless and even softer to prevent uh, than the previous generation pads. The next layer, Castelli's infinitely variable thickness padding, imparts just the level of support where you need it, thicker under the sit bones and thinner on the sides and under the perineum. The results are outstanding comfort with reduced bulk. So that's that review on the free Aero Race 4 kit a bib short in limited edition. They cost me 10375. Um, from Wiggle, as you know, I'm not sponsored by Wiggle, so I buy everything. So we'll leave you with a bum view of those shorts. And thanks for watching this review, or this unboxing rather. And we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell all your friends. And thanks for watching. Bye now.